Hi guys, welcome to Fix Savers. In today's video, we're bringing you another in our series of pool table instructional videos. And we're going to be showing you how to mark out the head string on your pool table cloth, complete with your head spot and your foot spot. Let's get it done. So first of all, let's make some considerations on the correct placement for your head string line. If you look at your side rails, I've got my corner pocket here, my side pocket here, you'll notice that we have these little inlaid targets. Sometimes they're diamonds, in this case they're round and uh, they're dotted around the, all the way around the playing surface. And from the uh, head of the table, which is the side of the table that you break on, what you want to do is you want to place it on this uh, center one. So from the uh, corner, you move in two, and from this one, you move in two. So this center one right here, and it's gonna be a straight line between that point and the same target on the opposite side. So next thing to consider is what you're actually going to use to mark your playing surface. Now we are marking a blue cloth, so a black Sharpie would be absolutely perfect. And on this particular one, this is a double-ended Sharpie. We've got fine on one end and ultra fine on the other. And we'll do a quick test with both and see which we prefer. And uh, obviously uh, black's an ideal color for a wide range of uh, playing surfaces, unless you've got a black cloth. If you have a black cloth, you can get various different types of uh, pens, uh, Sharpies and other brands. Uh, you can get gold ones, silver ones, you can even get white tipped ones as well. Uh, they are a little bit harder to work with, especially if you're working with the, uh, the gold or the silver, they're more kind of uh, like uh, paint pens almost. So you've got to be careful um, with it um, not uh, spilling extra kind of paint. You have less control over the flow, if that makes any sense. That's something to bear in mind, but for most people watching, you should be absolutely fine uh, with a standard Sharpie marker. So I'm going to use an old offcut um, of the pool table cloth here. This is the same cloth obviously that's fitted to the table. I've just got it on my uh, cutting board. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a metal rule and my Sharpie marker. I'm going to make a few test lines to make sure that I'm happy with how the ink uh, is uh, absorbed by the cloth and also that when I pull the ruler away I'm not getting any street marks. Uh, we shouldn't do, uh, not with uh, this type of marker, we should be okay. But it's always a good idea to get yourself comfortable and familiar uh, with the pen before you then go straight onto the uh, playing surface. So grab an old scrap and I just do a few test lines. So here you can see the contrast uh, between the uh, ultra fine and the fine using the sharpie and obviously you can decide at your own discretion which one you prefer. Okay, and obviously the most important thing is we need something that's going to allow us to draw a straight line once we've got the alignment that we need. Uh, there's a few different ways you can do this. Uh, I'm going to be using uh, just a standard uh, box level, like a spirit level. Uh, this is a four foot one and this is on a nine foot table. So I'm only going to have a small gap on either side so I can finish that separately uh, at the end. That will allow me to draw the majority of the line and I can put the two little short ends in uh, separately because you have to go kind of under the um, under the cushion anyway and the cushion's angled. So you, you know, you're going to have to finish the uh, into the corners manually anyway. Uh, you can use, um, you know, if you've got a different size table and you don't have, or you don't have one of these uh, spirit levels, you can just use something like a, a piece of wood. Uh, but if you are going to use a piece of wood, you can cut it to the uh, length that you require, but you, you want to make sure that you know that that piece of wood is actually straight. So you're going to want something that you know straight, such as a, a spirit level or, or something that you know is, is definitely straight, that you can put up against that block of wood, make sure that, that piece of wood is definitely straight, and then you can go ahead and use that. Last thing you want to do is end up using a warped piece of wood and having a warped line so that's something to bear in mind uh, but that's what you're going to need something that is close to that width uh, as you can that is definitely a straight line and you can even use something like this or like I said uh, you can custom make a piece of wood just make sure it's straight okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to get the uh, get the uh, spirit level aligned and um, we're going to use the uh, the string to come across these uh, two targets so we definitely get it in the center of these two targets and then we're going to align this and get it perfectly aligned with our string. A couple of things to point uh, to point out, or well, bear in mind as you do this, on this particular uh, spirit level, we've got these uh, rubberized handle sections. And they actually stick out a little bit further, unfortunately, than the uh, surface uh, that we're going to be using to mark. So I'm actually going to put this down on its side, and then I'm going to uh, do this uh, by eye used between the uh, string and the um, edge of the uh, spirit level. Quick tip for you if you're doing this by eye as well, depending on what, what you're using, whether it's a piece of wood or whatever, uh, when you're looking down on the edge that you need to see, the good place to start is use one eye, come to the side of it so that you can physically see the uh, side of the object, and then move your head across until the side of it just disappears. 
and that means that you're dead centered above it. It doesn't work if you come the other way because you've got nothing to reference. But basically, if you can see this side, then your uh, eye is not aligned with it. So come to this side, have a look at it, make sure you can see the edge, and then bring your head up using one eye until that side just disappears, and then you're in perfect alignment just there. Okay, so I've got my uh, string uh, aligned between the two targets. So now I'm just going to, using eye, line up the uh, spirit level. Okay, we're good to go. So at this stage we have our uh, line set. Now the easiest way to do this is because you need to, especially on a nine foot table, uh, such as this one, obviously we've got quite a long distance. Uh, so what you need to do is kind of draw half the line from one half, come around to the opposite side of the table and draw the other line. It's almost impossible to reach all the way over and try and get a nice line. That actually is a benefit to you because in the uh, center there, you're going to have your, uh, your head spot anyway. So if we marked off the, uh, the dead center and started to draw our line from the center, back in this direction and from the center back in that direction then uh, if there is if you were to make a mistake which shouldn't happen but if you had a tiny little imperfection in the middle there's going to be a small uh, head spot there anyway and that will mask that off so what I'm going to do just to help me mark off the uh, center I'm going to put a small piece of uh, painter's tape or masking tape just place that very lightly uh, onto the surface my playing surface measures exactly 50 inches because this is a, a nine foot table so i'm going to put a little pencil mark just in here as a reference at 25 inches so now i've marked off my center spot i just uh, rang the uh, the string uh, between the two points again just to double check before we make a line that i haven't accidentally nudged the uh, the uh, box rule here and we haven't so we're good to proceed and get the line drawn so now we're going to draw a line from our center spot back along our uh, spirit level here to the end of our uh, point here and that last little section in there as i mentioned before we'll finish that separately at the end Next, I'm going to grab my uh, metal rule, so I can place that right into the uh, corner. And obviously, I want to get this perfectly aligned with my line here. And it's a little bit awkward because you've got to get right back into here. So I'm just going to draw a little line uh, out in this direction. So next up, we need to look at marking your head spot and your foot spot. Now you can buy from places like uh, Amazon uh, the uh, adhesive uh, spots uh, that you can stick in place and a lot of people uh, like those and swear by those and said they don't affect the roll of the ball and all that kind of thing. We'll add some links for you to some of the ones that have got the best reviews at the best prices. You can scroll down and check those out uh, if you like. However, the, the other option is to uh, manually mark them and that's what we're going to do uh, in this particular instance. Now to help us do that, we're going to use, as kind of a form of a template, uh, a washer. I've got uh, in here various sizes of uh, metal washers and uh, ideally, I know it's difficult, you want one of these called a penny washer uh, or, or similar name and basically it's a large uh, size washer but the hole's not too large. What you don't want to do is just end up with a huge a huge washer and a huge circle so obviously that's far too big. Likewise if you wanted the same kind of uh, size circle uh, but you were trying to use a small one it's actually very hard to kind of hold this in place without it moving around. So if you can uh, it's worth uh, popping down to the uh, DIY store and grab you need one uh, grabbing one of these we're going to use that inside circle uh, to draw our circles. So as before we're going to do a couple of quick uh, tests to make sure that we're happy with it. So I'm going to use my ultra fine line like so and then I'm going to grab myself the washer and I'll give this a try. So when you're looking at your washer obviously you want this line to be dead center in the middle of the hole in the washer. So now just very carefully I'm going to mark the outside edge like so and then take that washer away. And then very carefully I'm just going to get my marker. I'm just going to 
fill in the circle. So my final uh, circle will look something like what we have uh, just here. So coming back to the uh, centre of my table, uh, I marked out the uh, dead centre earlier at 25 uh, inches. So all I've got to do is get that aligned so that obviously I can see the uh, line in this direction is dead centre. And likewise, if I were to draw a line in that way, that would run dead centre as well. So that's my position ready to mark. So with that drawn, we can go ahead and uh, get rid of this. Remember, likewise, you can, you know, as you marked off the centre, if you were using the adhesive spots, you, know, you could use that as your placement there as well. So the next thing we need to look at is the foot spot. The foot spot is the uh, spot on which the uh, the number one ball, which should always be at the front when you uh, rack the balls, uh, that's the spot that that number one ball sits on. So where is that in relation to the table and how are we going to mark it off? Now the foot spot is actually in the same position as the uh, head spot if you were literally to, to flip the table over. You don't have the line when it comes to the foot spot, it's just that spot. So again, if you look at the targets, it's this central target uh, to mark up exactly like we did on the other half of the table. And also it's dead center in the middle of the table as well. So let's take a look how we're gonna get this marked out. So again, exactly the same, I'm gonna run my uh, string along. I'm just gonna put my uh, spirit level on the uh, surface of the table and then adjust this uh, by eye to get this into the uh, correct position. And then as before, I'm going to take my uh, tape measure, carefully place that there. And that'll allow me to mark off exactly 25 inches. Now I can use my ruler and this central mark just to put a very small dot uh, with my pen. Mm -hmm. So that's my mark just there. Now I can get rid of my tape. Drop my washer in place, making sure that my tiny little mark is dead center. So there we have it guys, that's how you mark your head string, uh, complete with your head spot and your foot spot. If this video has been helpful for you, could you please do us a quick favour in return and be sure to hit that like button before you leave us here on YouTube. And also be sure to check out our YouTube channel, we have loads of other DIY pool table videos uh, just waiting for you to check out, so be sure to have a look at those. We'll add a full link for you uh, below of all the various different videos we've done, there's bound to be something that's of use to you. Again, thanks for watching, we'll see you again.